you know, let's do what we do. I don't know why I'm so nervous, but I'm nervous. So I'm sure a lot of you guys remember when I released this plush of Wednesday, only 949 made. It was a huge success, but yeah, so that was really fun. And uh, you guys asked if I would do it again and we did. We're doing it again. We are doing it again as of this video releasing. I will link it down below. This is not a Wednesday though. Like I said, we cannot redo Wednesday. That's done. These are limited edition campaigns. So basically you have like, 21 22 days to purchase or more so pre-order and as long as we surpass the goal of 200 again they will be made and shipped out last time almost a thousand were sold so i'm pretty hopeful that we'll hit the goal again so it's a hornworm everybody go get your hornworm i'm just kidding as you'll see there's like a little piece of velcro right here it's pumpkin there she is but yeah this is pumpkin as you see we have a detachable hornworm it attaches to her pedipal and then we have green metallic chelicere because pumpkins are green but sometimes they're also pink they have like a green and a pink shine i don't know if you've like ever looked at a jumping spider like up close but they actually have like more eyes up here so of course we wanted the correct eye pattern just like we did with wednesday see this is a velvet spider eye pattern and then here is a jumping spider it's gotta it's gotta be you know it's gotta be close it's got to be correct of course though these are plushy so they're not like 100 anatomically identical or correct but it's close okay we have the little spots on the butt just like pumpkin i really really hope you guys like her and i hope that you guys grab one so that we can make the goal again if you did the wednesday campaign you know that from pre-order to when they get shipped out it usually takes a couple months for everyone's orders to be fulfilled so as long as everything goes to plan these should be out to everybody by Halloween. Oh yeah, and I didn't even talk about the fuzzy pedipalps. Look at the fuzzy pedipalps. I wanted them like extra dextra fuzzy because uh, obviously the fuzzy pedipalps the metallic chelicere and the eye pattern like these are all things that are going to be very characteristic of a Phidippus regius like pumpkin and she is the orange color form so of course we we went very bright and pretty orange and just very Halloweeny for her and I, I just I love it this was so much fun the detachable hornworm is just like the little cherry on top I'm obsessed so if you want one go pre-order one ASAP you have a little bit of time but not much they will be made and then they will never be made again I, I cannot stress this enough I still have people asking me for the Wednesdays and I, I genuinely cannot I have no control over it <laughs> I cannot re-release it and I cannot re-release re this either so once it's over it's over okay so that is it link is down below I actually have real gummy worms with me today and some real jumping spiders so let's try feeding all of my adult female Phidippus regius some gummy worms let's see if she notices the worm I don't think she wants the worm. All right, girl, I'm gonna put the worm right here. Can I, can I borrow you? All right, I, oh, she's a little nervous. So I am going to carefully put her back in here. Now pumpkin actually really does like gummy worms, but just pulling her out of the enclosure probably stressed her out where she didn't want to eat at the moment, but I 
can pretty much guarantee she will eat this worm. We have other jumping spiders to feed other Phytopus regius, females only. Sometimes they do not want to touch worms. Sometimes they are all about them. This is one of my newer ones. She actually just laid eggs. She is the white and rose gold one I showed you guys recently. We're gonna do a kind of small worm, not to completely intimidate her, but you know, as expected, she's actually hanging out on the other side, but we will just so it's not a ton of babies. Um, it's actually quite a small stack. Oh, you can see her moving around in there. She's probably reacting to that worm. But um, it, it's not the biggest stack ever, but it's like still a decent sized. And you can see that most of the babies are doing great. They're moving around, wiggling. So yeah, it's, it's just, oh, she got the worm. Oh, that's great. Oh, yay. Oh, I'm so glad that she's taking it because she was so thin after laying that sack and refusing food check that out dude she bit it through the web that's awesome you see her little face right there at the bottom yeah that's awesome oh my god i'm so happy she took it is this my orange and black one quite speedy yes okay so this one is my orange and black one that i recently got so yeah i actually decided to name this one ginger because she's like a really pretty orange and black color. But yeah, I've never offered Ginger a gummy worm before. I'm kind of curious if she'll take one. Um, we can definitely try. All right, so we are gonna give it a minute to see if she is curious. She's coming back up, so she might get curious. next okay this one is a familiar face um somebody we've had a while but this one is sugar she's super pretty but she's kind of hidden in all her webbing over here look at her white butt it looks almost identical to chai's this will be a pretty big meal for her i'm actually going to put it in her little food bowl right here Okay, well, I guess she's just like going to wash her hands before she eats. So we're gonna let her take her time and do that. We still have three other Phytopus regius females to feed. So let's do another familiar face. So this is Chestnut, who I've had quite a long time. Um, I'm not sure if she will eat. She's always been one of my more shy ones. She does seem curious, which makes me think she might be kind of hungry. So, you know. Let's do what we do. Oh, where'd she go? Where did you go? Really? Did you shut the door on us? That's for you. So you guys actually named this one. Um, so yeah, this is Oreo. <laughs> Now it's time for a Bowser break.
So this one is on an egg sack, and this one is named Boba. There they are. They're on their babies, so you know, very unlikely to come out. But I still do offer food when they are on an egg sack. I'm going to take one of the smallest little hornworms, and I'm just going to put it right here in the web, hopefully. There we go. So this way, if she wants it, she can take it. And if she doesn't want it, it's all good. <laughs> We did get another that is currently munching. This one is sugar. And I, I had a feeling that she was gonna eat. She just needed to wash her hands and needed a little bit of privacy. She looks so much like Chai, it's like ridiculous. I really, really have a special spot for her just because she has the same exact booty. But yeah, I guess that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And also don't forget the pumpkin plush with detachable gummy worm is on Makeshift's website now. You have a very limited time to get yours. So go run, get it so that we can make the goal and have another successful plushy campaign. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not and you want to be. Don't forget I'm an Instagram video is probably way too much. It's the at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below and I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet pick.